Yo, what's going on dudes? We're back with another episode in our full BT6 playthrough and in today's episode we'll be working towards another achievement while working towards our resort black border. So the achievement that we're going to be going for today is going to be the one for all all for one achievement which is using one tower all the way up until round 80. So it's actually not a super hard uh, achievement to go for. Um, but it's just knowing like what tower you need on what round. So the first thing I'll do, um, I'll start off with a Dartmouth monkey. Like there are certain towers that you can get away with by just using like a singular tower for the entire game, like the monkey or the pirate lord. But I find it more interesting to go with a little bit of a different strategy and then work towards um like the pirate lord which is actually probably what we'll end up going for because the pirate lord is a really good tower for going for the one for all all for one achievement but because i don't want to end up like uh struggling up against uh purple balloons i'm gonna go ahead and use a dart monkey up until the point where we can buy our monkey buccaneer which it shouldn't take too long for us to be able to afford a monkey buccaneer and then upgrade it up to a cannon ship so we'll probably stick with our dart monkey all the way up until round 28 and then once we hit round 28 that's when we'll go ahead and and sell our dart monkey in order to grab the monkey buccaneer and then after we get the monkey pirates we should be pretty much good for the rest of the game all the way up until the point where we need to buy the pirate lord but because we're only going to be going for one tower it's not going to take us very long at all to actually be able to afford it right so while we're saving up the money to buy our sharpshooter i just want to say thank you guys so much for the support on the series you guys are absolutely crushing it i know some of these episodes really aren't that exciting but i really appreciate you guys like bearing with like the like episodes that aren't like as grand and elaborate as like some of the crazier ones like chimps modes or the expert maps and stuff like that eventually we will get to those um once i get more monkey knowledge i'll start like expanding a little bit more um that that way like we can mix up the content just a little bit um and we'll start doing um like or we'll start mixing in some uh intermediate maps we'll start mixing in some advanced maps as well as we'll start mixing in some uh expert maps as well um actually speaking of expert maps i actually need to go through and i need to finish black bordering glacial trail but i was a little bit worried about half cash mode because i don't think with the monkey knowledge that i had uh half cash mode would have been uh i well it probably would have been possible but it would have been a little bit on the rough side and i really didn't uh or i really didn't feel confident in beating it with the amount of monkey knowledge that i had right but now that we're level 98 and we're really close to level 99 um i want to go ahead and do like a double take through all of the monkey knowledge to see if there's any monkey knowledge that would uh really like give us the edge um on glacial trail because even though glacial trail isn't that hard of a map it's still pretty rough with the rounds and like the whole mechanics behind the rounds um especially with like um when you first place down your tower because when you first place down your tower there's like a whole like weird mechanic w with it and it just gets a little bit annoying some sometimes right all right so round 27 we'll go ahead and turn off our auto start now because we're gonna end up selling our dart monkey after this round so let's go ahead and sell our dart monkey we have a six thousand dollars to work with We'll go ahead and place down the monkey buccaneer right here. Uh, we'll go ahead and upgrade this monkey buccaneer up to cannon ship, and then we'll grab a longer range and crow's nest. So um, monkey pirates is going to cost us $5,290 in order to afford it, but I'm not going to be selling uh, the cannon ship right now because this is a relatively long map. So our cannon ship should be able to deal up until the point where we can afford to buy the monkey pirates. At least that's what I'm hoping. All right, so round 33, here's our monkey pirates. Now we're pretty much good to go, dudes. Like now that we have our monkey pirates, we don't, or we shouldn't have to worry about any balloons all the way up until like round uh, 63. But we'll have our pirate lord by then. And once we have our pirate lord, it's pretty much a GG's. I think the only round that might give us a little bit of a hard time with our pirate lord is round 78 because those uh giant rushes of ceramic balloons can be a little bit of a pain in the butt right so while we're saving up of the money to buy our pirate lord um i also wanted you guys to know that i do have a creator code in balloons td6 and my creator code for balloons td6 is actually h2k titan so if you guys want to show the channel a little bit more of support, if you guys are like buying double cash mode or if you guys buy like instant monkey packs, 
Please feel free to use my creator code HTK Titan to show the channel a little bit more support. All right, so round 40, let's go ahead and suck up the Moablin. Now, we can deal with the Moablin with our monkey pirates with no issue. Um, It's just like um, whenever we see like a Moablin or something like, like that, to make our lives a little bit easier and like try to uh, complete this game mode a little bit faster, we'll go ahead and suck up a Moablin whenever we see one. And just so you guys know, like if you guys wanted to use the monkey buccaneer for this entire like um all for one one for all achievement you guys could get away with just using your monkey buccaneer the main reason why i want to start off with the dark monkey and go to the monkey pirates is because one i wanted to make sure that we didn't struggle with a per with a purple balloons but i also wanted to show you guys that if you guys um are struggling with like the all for one one for all achievement you guys can buy a tower and then if you turn off your auto start and you sell that tower before you buy your second tower, you can actually still get the achievement. But to be completely honest, I probably should have just went for the uh, monkey pirates to begin with, because if we just use the, the monk or the uh, monkey pirates to begin with, um, we would have actually had another um, like a uh, win for using the big monkey towers, which would have worked towards the I like them big, I like them chunky achievement. So that's something that I need to remember for when I'm playing in the other game modes, right? All right, so we have a $28,500. Let's go ahead and buy the Pirate Lord. And now that we have a, the Pirate Lord, it's pretty much a GG's, right? Like out of all of the achievements in balloons, this is probably honestly one of the easiest ones because you're not limited to what map you can play on. Uh, the only like stipulation for the all for one, one for all achievement is that you need to be playing on a hard game mode. That is, of course, if they didn't change the one for all, all for one achievement, right? Which, of course, we'll end up finding out if they change the achievement once we be reach round 80. But anyways, dudes, there's not really much else that I need to explain. So I'll go ahead and do a little bit of a fast forward bit all the way up until round 80. And I'll see you guys here in just a second. All right, so here we are on round 78. So this is the one round that I was a little bit nervous about. Now, the first rush of ceramic balloons is a lot easier than the second rush. So we need to wait until we see that camo ceramic rush, because if we're going to struggle with any of these ceramic balloons, it's definitely going to be on the camo ceramic rush. All right, here's the camo ceramic rush and actually that was actually way easier than I thought it would be So here we are on round 79 So I've been activating the pirate lord ability whenever I see like multiple bfb balloons That way we can go ahead and progress through um this game mode a little bit faster So you really don't need to activate the ability until like round 80 and that's just because like um the Pirate Lord is just insanely good at dealing with um pretty much every type of balloon all the way up until like round 90, right? So here we are on round 80. The last thing we have to do is of course suck in the ZMG. And there we have it, dudes. We have officially beaten hard standard using only one tower. So if we did everything correct, we should have a brand new achievement. And the brand new achievement is all for one and one for all. Oh, wait, it's all for one and one for one. Uh, for some reason, I thought it was all for one and one for all. I have no idea what I was thinking, but this achievement actually gives us one free monkey knowledge point, which is actually really, really cool. So now that we have that free monkey knowledge point, let's go ahead and spend it. So I think what I was going for is I was going for the final um couple of monkey knowledge points for the hero knowledge tree. So let's go ahead and do this because it's going to allow our towers to do more damage to ceramic and fortified balloons, or at least it'll allow our hero to do more damage damage to ceramic and fortified balloons but anyways dudes that's gonna do it for this video um in tomorrow's video we'll go ahead and move on to uh probably magic monkeys only um and then we'll still or then we'll keep working towards the um i like them big i like them chunky achievement but anyways dudes uh, that's gonna do it for the video if you guys enjoyed make sure you guys hit that like button also if you guys are new around here don't forget to subscribe as well because i do upload daily bt6 content and again dudes uh, thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one